rephrased aspects of um, pattern again. And uh, like I said time before now, that I observed that people were not actually picking the, uh, the ideology and that uh, what ought to be done. And so quite unfortunate, and, uh, but we still need to help ourselves seriously. And, um, and if we must achieve a better result, we need people to be adherents to style of trading and pattern of trading. And that's why you see that most time people trade and never finishes their trade. People trade and never finishes their trade. Quite unfortunate. And I've always said this time and again over and over that your trade is not complete until uh, you have ended your market in the USDT. Uh, Mr. Sunday, can you still check your device? Uh, you come on in. You didn't select your, I'm, I'm sure your device was asking you to use, uh, sorry. I just saw that it's not, uh, it's not getting. Please select. Into my mic or system. We are not connected. Okay, so there we go. Please, I want to urge everyone and beg everyone to always try as much as possible to adhere to instruction on our platforms on the forum. Uh, our platform was not meant for just um, um, jamboring, just talking, you know, that because we love talking and that's why, you know, the platform was there. No, the platform is beyond just talking. The platform was meant for us to pick information. And I was always to repeat this, sometimes people felt trading is all about noise making or how, re how you know, hard you are to yourself. You know, that's what many people think trading is all about. Apart from that, trading is beyond just noise. Trading is beyond just like the excitement of, um, I've just traded, I've just bought this coin. Trading is beyond those things. Trading is more of uh, articulation and plan. So part of your trading is not when you just come on board on the system to touch your system or to place order. Trading starts from when you plan. And over time, of course, I'll be going more detail because what we try to do as much as possible, we want to see how we can help our community where we make enough money. You know, when you make enough money in your business and the lending will be so fun, but when you lend too much and you're not making money, the lending becomes rubbish. And that's why I try my possible uh, effort to make sure that, in fact, if I have a way of simplifying, trading more very, very simplified than what we're doing, I will have done that, but I know it will still be done. So that over time when we have been consolidated, we can study more about some of those um, technical analysis. Although in, the, in, in crypto, it's, beyond, it's not all about technical analysis. It more of, uh, it more of um, uh, fundamental and market sentiment, just like I normally tell us, over time, what we may now look at to help our community very well is not all of those um, uh, technical analysis and all of that. No, what we'll be doing more later to be of um, where's this guy? We don't have time uh, so that if I can have time to just make a kind of simple handbook. 
for us, can help us a lot. Okay, for some of you who are new, we've always talked about primary, secondary coin, and scalping coins. You can see Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin itself, ETH, New XRP, Link, EOS, Dashcoin, Bax, NG, BNB, Dogecoin, AON, Digibyte, One, either. Uh, okay, uh, it was repeated twice or something. Okay, and uh, Tether, Decrate, XLM, Macro, MCO, Crow, um, Energy. And uh, you know, Swinging Coin talked about well, Argo, ICX, Raven, Matic, Ren, Wabi, Beam, Green, Nebel, and then uh, Senem, uh, ONG, Stage, Lend, Edo, Nav, Ada, itself. And primary coins too can be scat, uh, can be swing. And so primary coin can be holding and be swing at the same time. Well, scalping coin may not necessarily be those primary or secondary coins because scalping is more or less, sorry, let me use this language. It's not like a prostitution work. You know, there is no, or let me call it a politician. So there is no permanent friend, no permanent enemy. So you don't drive, drive a pattern on our scalping. And that's why I said it's not compulsory for anybody to do scalping. It's not compulsory. It's optional, so you may not scap, but these two are very important for everybody. And uh, over time, what I might have to do for us is go more detail because, of course, I've tried to simplify those terminologies, right? And um, talking about other Steve land later, moving average and uh, simple moving average, exponential moving average, right? Marine uh, average convergence, divergence average, positive stretch index. Uh, relative strength in the accessory abolish the band and all of that. So though you are not trading for expo, I'm gonna give you a kind of short summary of some of those things and that like what to still help you. But that I want you to have made money, then you can become a professional. But for now, all you need to do is to be an informational trader. And so that after then you can become professional. So your professionalism will not just be a mouth sick. So you are practical on it, and then you are uh, you're practical on it, and then you are, how will I call it, experimenting to people. So there we go. Uh, practically in the market, you know, we said we've identified primary coins, especially those of you guys who are just coming in very fresh. Number one thing that very paramount for you to do is to go back to your drawing board. Go buy a journal and have it a record book. Two, now go into make sure you have at least Binance Exchange, you have KuCoin Exchange, you have probably Bitres, um, yeah, KuCoin, yeah, Bitres, uh, KuCoin. Bitres, uh, probably um, you have KuCoin, you have Bitres, you have Binance, then you can have, you know, uh, hit BTC, you know. There are other exchange you're gonna make as a minor exchange, right? Then why you have some as a, a major exchange, right? So some you're gonna have as minor exchange, some you're gonna have as minor exchange. Crazy. See this now. I was talking yesterday. Uh, uh, energy. You can see energy went up strong after yesterday interaction. Uh, yesterday interaction was about twenty one thousand satoshi there about. Holy Spirit. And this guy move up to thirty thousand satoshi. Well, that's not my business. So I, I only have it in staking. Uh, so. You are going to have, you know, I told us about this place when I was experimenting some um, on my container. Now, please, as a trader, it's not all about sitting on system. It's all about driving your pattern. So number one, you have all those exchanges. I want to believe that every one of us who have started trading 
already knew how to navigate through the exchange platform. And if you've traded very well before, or you've traded Forex trading, you know, Forex and crypto are not the same. However, there are certain um, skills or style you can borrow from one to another, you know, and you can borrow some tem terminologies like the technical analysis are the same thing, the chart indicator, and then the candle and all of that, they are the same. But when it comes to producing results, they are not the same because what you'll be checking to produce results in Forex is not the same thing or practically 100% the same thing you're going to be checking in your crypto trading. Please let me tell you, these are similar things that you will find out. Like this market now, uh, let me just use this simple RSI to tell you. Uh, look at yesterday, I told us that Bitcoin, we're actually waiting for Bitcoin to, to drop to at least about 4,000 or 4,005 and to $3,800. But I kept on telling us this, that Bitcoin refused to, wow, that Bitcoin just getting madder more and more rather than coming down that I'm seeing a strong recovery. And, but the coming down is so, so important and inevitable. But however, you can see it's struggling to break the bearish point. And trying to look at a simple RSI, RSI the relative um, uh, strength, okay, uh, indicator. Now, it, it ought to have these two, these three lines, the center 50 or now, yesterday, it dropped down to this, ought to have, with this arrow, simple arrow side, if it crossed down, like look at this place, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not making you people to be professional, but when we say something, then over time you'll be learning this professional gradually, but you're meant to be an information trader. So we have a lot of professionals in this space of cryptocurrency now, it's always English they speak, let them show you your, their back office is zero. Some of them don't have 0 0.003 BTC. And they tell you a lot of things. It's easy to talk to people and be speaking English about how you should apply strategy. But when you get involved practically, you now see they are not the same thing. Now, if you look at it here, and if you look at this guy, I remember on our firm, I told us, please, if you have this coin, MTL, go and sell. And even I said it before now anyway, but obviously it was obvious that that guy was going somewhere down after, number one, there was reason for its spike. That's one of the things I want everybody, everybody have to be a researcher. And thank God for our forum, we bring update. So any update brought, you are meant to, you know, work on that update and, you know, and then fire up to pick information for yourself. We bring updates, you see the updates, you, you, you leverage on that update and to work on certain things. Now, look at it, I, 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 I can tell you that this guy is struggling, you know, um, to break down, was as if receiving another strength between 4,000, uh, uh, 5,000 to 4,900, Satoshi, just exactly what BTC was doing the other day, four thousand, six thousand, and five thousand eight hundred uh, dollars. But obviously, this guy got to eight thousand five hundred dollars. But I actually told people to sell at eight thousand dollars. Well, it's not too bad. But one thing in trade is that nobody will start from support and then sell at resistance. Nobody has ever tried that. You can't be so much accurate to say. You pick at the lowest low and you're able to sell at the highest high. It, sometimes it happens, but most times it's either little or never get to your highest high you imagine. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm showing to us right now is number one principle, which most of us who have been trading before have been always telling us this. Number one principle, if you are scalping any coin and you want to exit the market, ensure that that's your market is sold back to BTC. At least when you check your market that you've done about 4% and above, and suddenly those of you who want to check your scalping every day, want to be scalping every day, 
and you bought a coin and you want to exit the market, possibly you want to go somewhere. But sometime before you come, BTC may spike. And I always say this, if BTC spikes suddenly, other coins will suffer because all of them must drop. And let me tell you the prevera pattern. That's why when you see some people want to analyze candle, I tell them, hey, this candle you're analyzing is actually the emotion and action or inaction of someone that is being interpreted. They, they don't get it wrong. I'm not saying don't study the candle, but let me tell you, what candle does is for you to study the pattern and use it as an assumption or probability for the next move, not the candle you are seeing. So you are looking at pattern of a candle and you can now say, okay, this is the interval it takes. This is the period of cycle the coin have and all of those things. And then you can leverage on that, you know, uh, last year or uh, 2019, yeah, uh, January, February, um, April, May, June, July. I don't know when this guy is just completing a cycle. Yeah, April, June, July. Yeah, March, April, May, March, April, May, June. We traded this coin seriously. Did you know that this coin you are seeing is a part of coin that you should buy and hold? Let me tell you why. Last year, this coin, we traded it around 5,000 something Satoshi until it got to perpetually was doing between 8,000 Satoshi to 9,000 Satoshi, 10,000 Satoshi. Did you know that last year, this coin in March, March, April, look at it here. This coin got to up to as high as how many thousand Satoshi? Because we actually traded it last year. <laughs> Crazy, right? Uh, okay, let me use Wix. Okay, I can see it somehow. Okay, guys, can you see something? Last year, this guy got up to as high as 18,000 Satoshi, March 25th last year. Okay, March 25th last year, got up to as high as 18,500 Satoshi, almost 19,000 Satoshi. And can I tell you something? It was within a day that I got a terrible spike like this. And I have it at 9,500 Satoshi, only to come back that I have seen 100% very crazy and violent move. Immediately that happens, I sold off everything that has to do with that coin because I know that there's going to be a drastic pullback of that coin. And then it came down, 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 down. And then until it begin to maintain all of this, you know, come down to as crazy as low as 2000 uh, Satoshi. You can see the all time low here of 2270 Satoshi. That was July last year and then come da, 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 da. they were struggling in between 5,000, 4,000, 8 and um, throughout last year and to the beginning of this year, okay, 2020. So it was maintaining 3, 5, 3, 4, 4,000, all of that. There you come now. You can see a year cycle. Now, it means this coin, apart from uh, apart from each cycle, there are so many latest things about the coin. I've told you, if you are in trading here, you should be making use of your coin checkup. Your coin checkup gives you advantage of some sentiment to take into the news and information or update about a particular coin. Then you go to the coin checkup to read more or update or go to crypto news uh, our Bitcoin news or Coin Telegraph or Crypto Panic, you know, to check some updates. If you go here, like of course, as at yesterday, it was overbought. So uh, that was why I told us, you know, sell off. It's still even on overbought, still on strong buy. And if you look at the sentiment here, look at the sentiment here on the news. We are excited to announce that. Binance USD, B, oh, oh, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Binance, have they changed that thing again now? Okay, no problem. So, an hour ago, okay, that's, you have to, that something is going to happen to BNB, crazy. Okay, 
let's forget about that. Let's check this. So exciting things are happening at Meta. Get ready for what blah, 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 11 hours ago. And uh, Meta pay users. Do you know one thing? Unfortunately, Nigeria, you are not qualified to make use of this Meta pay. And that was part of the sentiment and fundamental that contributed to that spike you were seeing. And look at the spike you were seeing, the support of this Meta pay uh, and Welcome, Cosmos. So, you know, I uh, was reading uh, yes. Oh, okay. So there were updates about uh, MTEL, and these are the sentiment. That is your own main trade. Not when you even place order to buy the coin or place order to sell the coin. Your main trade is actually when you go through to know the thing uh, to somebody when you are trading and you are just scared unnecessarily. Then you are not well equipped. You are just scared unnecessarily, just very unnecessarily scared. They said the, the market just maybe did some correction. You are panicking. Then you should not even trade in the first place. So because why you are panicking is that you have no idea whatsoever. Yes, the market can be manipulated. But no matter how it's manipulated, it must play out its cycle. So these are market sentiment that you read more. Uh, let me go back here. Okay, look at this airdrop that just happened. The information have been on in talking about preparing for the proton uh, extra uh, uh, airdrop depth meter, the preparation for launching proton on uh, minutes. We still uh, we will be performing an airdrop of proton tokens to all metal uh, token holders next week. For this airdrop, we will be so. It was later been announced, announced that we're going to, you know, uh, participate. You know, look at in preparation for this. Uh, okay, a drop will be using ERC20 wrapped version of Proton token. You know, uh, we launch a Proton minute. You will be able to swap tokens uh, between these two networks. You know, a snapshot will be uh, made at you know Ethereum block which should occur on Monday, which was today. I think it was around 2 p.m. because this is 1 p.m. <clears throat> 1 p.m. GMT is one hour below, uh, behind Nigerian local time. So one hour ahead of GMT, we are one hour ahead of GMT. We are the so same now. We don't match now. We don't match? We don't match over the weekend, though. So we are at the same time now. Are you serious? Is it, is it because of Okoro? Ah, no, <laughs> now spring with a match now. So we supposed yeah. to match every week before, yeah. so we don't match now. Yeah. We don't want to match because of Okoro. Patience, leave Okoro alone now. Okay. <laughs> so, so leave Okoro alone. The snapshot was ha what happened. Now, look at the sentiment here. As at day for yesterday, when we were talking about um, MTEL, or about four days ago, some people first bought MTEL and traded. And I uh, remember I said, sell off and buy back. And some did, maybe some did not. And please let me correct this impression. Some coins, we may give the analysis and people will buy into it. Please let me give it as a kind of warning and a bag. Now, maybe you have entered Matic under Matic. Um, um, but and uh, atom, and you that there, there are reasons why you enter into it. Maybe we have checked some sentiment about that coin, and we have said this, and you've entered into it. And update come about Matt, uh, this MTEL, and it's actually perfect. You can see the green light that this thing was going to go, and within the shortest time, the guys start hitting up. Please, I'm begging. You have to play maturity by ignoring it if you don't have another cash. Don't go and close your transaction because you want to enter this entail. You don't do that. Unless you, unless and if, if Atom you enter and you saw that you have done at least 10% or 20% on Atom by your swing, and you see that the potential of this MTEL the noise are so much because these are sentiment. And you now say, okay, 
I'm already on profit at this 10% or 20%, then you can sell off 50% of your asset and bring out that money to participate in MTEL. But if you do not have anything, your market has not really given you what you're looking for, just auto delete. Don't even bother yourself. The only thing you can learn along the line and don't, don't let it enter you that, wow, oh boy, to see I did this M10, look at five days ago now, M10 I've done 90% and all of that, oh, more. I've done, don't do that. It's not correct. If not, you will not be able to ascertain your profit at the end of the month, your profit at the end of a quarter, your profit at the end of the year. So you have to draft a pattern. So irrespective of what that coin is doing, I remember not everybody participated, for instance, on Steam that time. And within two days, Steam did two around two percent. Fine, let it do. And my own will come. And so, but if I'm struggling to, unless and if I have some money, if I do not have some money, there's no point. Just leave it, let it be, so that you can take advantage of your market to the fullest. So all of these informations were the, what triggers, so there, were, there was an overbought. Uh, one of my friends said, okay, uh, we, we said, it's not actually called overbought, we said, we call it extended bot. <coughs> extended bot, that's where you have a double top, a double bottom and all of that. So these are sentiment. This is not for us, guys. All you need is your sentiment inside the fundamental. And then, oh, boom, oh, since they are going to do a net drop, Yes, there should be a traffic to that primary coin that will make you to have the airdrop. Simple airdrop, um, Fox, and then all of those things. These are sentiment. Everyone wants to hold it because they want to have a portion. And this is the skill I give to people. If I have bought such coin like MTEL and some bought at 37,000 Satoshi or 3,700 Satoshi and all of that, and he, the guy, the first time he got to 50,000 Satoshi, 5,000 Satoshi, forgive me, I don't know why. I need big, big volume, man. <laughs> so get to 5,000 Satoshi, I was like, if you want to say you can sell, and you retrace back, you buy back. Because you have to be conscious of the fact that the money you used in buying the first place was not enough. If it had been a wish for you that somebody would crown it, the volume you bought is not the volume you will buy. Don't just imagine when you want to buy something, you prepare to a supermarket, and then you meet the, the governor of your state and you just want to buy only sardine to go and eat it, of course. And then you now meet your governor in your, in, with your shopping cart and say, just shop what you, it's not what you write in your list you will shop. Man. You will just change the list. You tell the, you tell the waiter, hey, my friend, put this thing, put this thing. Because you know that there's a ticket that is going to cover it. So the same thing, you bought in the market, you know, come down, you bought, you bought back, and you have sold, you bought back. But this is the rule. Anytime you are selling, especially primary coins or coins you are swinging, every primary coins you are trading, always understand a ladder sells and a ladder buying. It's not good. You just want to, yes, you might have made a profit, but you still make a very gross mistake. You just sell off everything and expect a pullback. No, it doesn't work that way. The coin may decide because of some other sentiment, the coin may do double top. Then you'll not be agitating. Oh my God, when will this thing come down? Hey, calm down, it's gonna come down. You, but you'll be under stress. And what is paining you is not the fact that you want it to come down. What is paining you, you have sold that thing at 30,000 Satoshi and the guy is mooning. Never stop at 35, you get to 40, did he stop at 40, you got to 45, no, 50, like what happened to so many of us on, um, on chain link? It was like, we should see one um, the year or soon to go there and then draft it back for us, you know. But unfortunately, it's all about planning. So if it's a coin like every primary coin, number one, or some of us who maybe who have, uh, who are trading Tika Tiwari coin. Like I told somebody the other day, I said, Tika Tiwari coin, it's just an aid for me to continue trading it consistently rather than just buying and holding it. But as a trader, you know, remember everything you do in, your, in the space of your crypto, either a coin project, no coin project I invest that I don't trade it. There is none. Even almighty credits, I trade it. 
with Naira in their system, they are trading. Because my sentiment is that I must look for a way to make some killing money even before the jungle will mature. And it is that way of making some money before the jungle mature will give you more strength and time and opportunity or privilege to still leave the coin to the level where you can maximize to the highest profit. So this is just one of those things. So let's go back to uh, um, uh, Binance. So I've said this now that look at trend. Of course, we have said every market you want to buy, it is easy for a lower a lower volume of Satoshi to do X2, X3, X4 than a higher volume of Satoshi to do those things. What do we mean? Anything in hundreds of Satoshi, in tens of Satoshi, in units of Satoshi will give you faster money if you've been analyzed properly. It'll give you faster money than when it's now 1,000, 10,000, you know, hundreds of thousands. Before you can, that's why we said, a tiny coin can have capacity to do 1,000%. And nobody will know. Of course, just like some of those coins we do, just like using an example of EDC. EDC did over 1,200% within four or five days or so. And in one day, 990%. Nobody will know. It's only you that have the awareness and information about the coin that we know that, ooh, this thing happened. But if BTC try that, even if BTC will do 100% in a day, no, 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 no. That time is coming though, but that, will, that time is already crazy, you know? And so those are the things we tell people. And the higher the, the percentage any of those smaller coins do for me, the better volume of BTC I carry. So let's go. We have MTEL, of course. So like, like this type of MTEL, it's tempting. Two consul consolation you should have is, this guy is, is looking tempting. Should I buy? First candle red, second candle. If this third one just slot down, a longer candle than this, man, forget it. For me, I've it the market since 8,000 Satoshi. Have I bought back? No. If I want my friends and me say, are you not going to buy at 6,000? Since you saw that at 8,000, I say, are you okay? I can decide not to buy it now and allow this guy to wreck down and create a very big top and handle, maybe down somewhere here, 3,400 Satoshi. No, I think 3,400, okay, I thought it's, I'd say 34,000. So 3,400 Satoshi, so oh, this is this, or da, 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 da. boom. Next stop, it's about 4,100 4, Satoshi or thereabout. So I can decide to wait. If the guy spike up without me being there, I won't buy it. Please don't make this mistake. Like I love what um, uh, just uh, Mr. Um, Abdul, was doing to uh, EDC, but I, I will explain to you what the different you may experience in EDC. EDC character is exceptional. None, no point have the same character with EDC. So he was actually checking to look at when it has a bottom and he couldn't find the bottom of EDC. It will be difficult for you to find that guy bottom. He does not have bottom. It has a trend of pattern. And so, but with this type of thing, you are checking to okay until I find the bottom. At this point, it's a good buy for anybody. But for me, it's not a good buy for me. Even though I've sold at 8,000 Satoshi. First option is, oh, if the guy go back up, no problem, let it complete that cycle and come down. I will pick it from there. Okay, Felix, what if he refuse to come down? Yeah, no problem. There is another coin, another day, and in another market. Must still be that particular coin, no. And the, for, the, the other sentiment you still have in your mind is that what I'm looking for is profit. And so if I have made the profit and the coin did not present itself for me again, I look for another one. After all, how many coins am I trading? If you are just trading like four coins or three coins or eight coins, depending on what's your portfolio. But those are the issues that we must check. You don't trade so many coins at a time. Be very careful. The more volume, the more numbers of coins you trade, the more likely your loss. You won't be able to concentrate. You won't be able to actually arrive at something tangible. What about if you are trading with just $5,000? How 
and you are just trading only three coins or two coins. And then one of the coin just did like this team did. If you do 30% or 50% of $5,000, you know what it means. Rather than spreading your money in peanuts, different, one we actually do 100%. Yeah, no problem. You have done 100%. 100% don't works. Why the other one that is huge is doing minus 100%. So you've lost entirely. So we have to be very careful. And I, I, I did mention so many coins before now. And sometimes it's like when we analyze some coins by going to the coin market cap, for instance. I remember a long time ago when we analyzed uh, when we analyzed this guy, um, MCO. I kept on emphasizing on MCO. I kept on emphasizing. I think that time the price of Bitcoin was even up. It got to about $5 or thereabout. I said, go back to your coin market cap. Please, some, sometimes some people start trading. They, they have this mindset. I, I will laugh at it most time. And they said, I just go to coin market. And I saw the market, that coin is going up very well. I think it's a good, what the, what the hell? Why will you go to the coin market? Coin market cap only report. And that's why I think they now do one while you now. They put market power, what? Adjusted volume and reported volume. All not the same. Those English is different. So, but ordinarily, the market, coin market cap is giving report. So, what happened in coin market cap has happened on the exchange. And that's why I beg everybody to always use tap traders. Use tap trader. Tap trader give you exact volume live happening on those exchange. Go to tap. Just go to your YouTube, uh, say YouTube, sorry. Go to your Play Store, download Tab Trader. You can set alarm on your Tab Trader, but you can monitor. Maybe if I'm trading a coin now, I can go to my Tab Trader for that coin, all right, and check the volume at which is happening. So every executed volume will be shown on the Tab Trader. So with that, I can still monitor if I'm to still stay in the market or exit the market. But sometimes those are tools that help you, and that is the trade. It's not about when you click your button on the system that is a trade. No, all the tools you have to monitor and manage your business is a trade, okay? And so you come to Tab Trader. Look, if I look at, um, blah, 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 blah. let's see, let's see. Okay. I am CEO, okay. So if I go to my tab trader, you can even see the pattern better than anywhere. Let me take you the video. This is a trend. You can kind of stick the trend. So I can I can go here and go to um, and go to last trade. Okay, go to last trade. Maybe I want to exit in the market because the market was stagnant. Now I go to my tab trader and that's the same thing you do here when we say, when you go to the market, why do you think we shout, we shout, we shout, we say, wow, look at the volume, 24 hours volume. You can come, a coin will be stagnant and but volume is adding up. Just know that that coin is going to do a kind of vertical spike Market is adding more volumes of money, but this guy has not happened. Because the trade, you know, those guys place orders in that dimension, but the order they placed has not been executed. Over time, you see market being executed, and you see everywhere green up. But it's not only about the number of green. It all depends on what is the quantity of each of those green. And that's what you use in your top trader. If you look at it now, I can, I, I can say uh, this coin, uh, let me go to MTEL, sorry. MTEL, there we go, MTEL. Oh. 
and to, to, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what is this thing happening this way? Sorry guys, I just want to bring out something. MTL. Okay, there we go. Okay, now if I look at MTL and our see right. So now if you look at uh oh, mm. this is fantastic, right? Eh? So now, if I go to last order, I'm going to have a lot of sellout. Now, sometime, if we go to the last order, sometime the last order may have lots of greens. What you now need to check on those greens, what is the quantity? For every executed amount on that exchange is what you see here in Tab Trader. Now, you are now checking what is the quantity that I see red numerous is not what should panic me. I begin to check. I may see about 20 different executed trades at different prices, so everywhere is red. But each of these is just fraction of 0 0.02 Bitcoin, 0 0.03 Bitcoin, 0 0.04 Bitcoin, that or that. If you accumulate everything together, maybe like two Bitcoin that are total sales, then you can see one green. Only that green is a bulk order, bulk order of five Bitcoin. Of course, immediately that happened, you see market override. As the market override, you say, well, I think uh, this thing is getting more interesting. Then you go there again, you check. Only one bomb again, like five, eight Bitcoin. You say, ah, man, I never sell. You understand? I never sell. Because the market, that's why sometimes you see, but because before this indication, before this, there's an action or need that'll say, ooh, man, I, I'm returning back. And that's why we said, there's no longer pressure on that market. And that's why a lot of people have to be looking for the bottom or the support. That when the guy have gotten to support, what's the support simply? Support simply means, a point at which nobody is interested, you know, in selling. And so everybody lock up. But sometimes you, of course, you see it, some people who sell, then you see some people who are trading in such asset will tell you, okay, we have some babies. We have some babies who are trading in this asset because they know that ordinarily nobody, nobody who is professional that will buy at this point because, uh, and I will sell at this point because looking at the previous place at which it was highly bought, that's the bottom we're talking about. You now see that the market ordinarily people are at loss. So why will they sell? And they know that the coin have a strong capacity. So a lot of people now, fresh people come into the market to check, just like any good trader who comes to the market and check every other coin and check emptied does this way. The next thing you want to find out is that, okay, let me check um, uh, six hours uh, interval. You now have to check to see where was the market, you know, at the previous time. Then, of course, it checked what performance has it done. Especially I tell people, when the market have a vertical spike, just know the drop will be so amazing, let me call it that way. The drop will be so crazy. 
da 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 and then everybody like oh my god oh my god and that's the time people will now want to sell hey i want to sell i want to sell you don't do that so you have to check the volume you have to check the support you have to check the resistance you have to check the price volume support resistance price many times when the market creates a kind of resistance sign upward here this is some people like let me see see what happen if the market is violently pushed that's when i say let me see what happen but if the market is organically growing once it creates that resistance i will have sell off if it's a coin to hold you can sell off like 50% or 60% waiting for that uh, market to drop more so that i can buy back when it's a useless coin like shit coin i just sell it off and move on i wouldn't even know the name of the coin any longer okay so but the point is this you should draft a pattern for yourself uh, I, i can tell you this seriously a pattern is not drawn for yourself and what's the pattern we're talking about is all those of you that are new number one i have my external wallet number two i buy coins in arranged order listen arranged order uh for me like myself uh, if i buy coins that by primary coins immediately those coins are being bought and you check ratio at which you want to handle how how many units or fraction of that coin you want to keep in your exchange platform or your your wallet then immediately that is done you move that fraction just use that percentage to divide what you have just bought then move it to the fractions okay that is your external wallet then next you go the other remaining money then you continue swinging now this is the ideology let me let me use example somebody who come and bought mtel at 4000 satoshi uh sorry 4000 i hope i'm in order 4000 satoshi for instance somebody i bought and the person bought 1000 mtel that's 0.04 and the market spike crazily okay from that 4000 and get to like just 6000 satoshi take 50% of this which is 5000 and sell okay 5000 okay that's and you sold at 50000 satoshi or 5000 satoshi forgive me so you sold at 5000 satoshi uh 500 is what i needed to type here that means the money now is 0.25 0.025 btc then you remember you have 500 left you didn't touch it don't always consider if i have sold everything and i make this profit i will have had enough money to buy back don't do that you must have sold uh you you may you may you may sell and uh, and and the market uh get up or stop down so the moment you have you have bought and you keep 50% for sale and keep 50% for holding then you come back later the market drop from that 50000 you sold to as low uh, uh 5000 you sold to as low as 3400 satoshi okay and then you are using this you're using 2 0.025 btc 0.025 btc to buy it so it's going to give you 735 you wait to sell again maybe 
at that 7,000 or 8,000. But this is the ideology. If you have traded it up and down and you have some fraction 500, you check how many did you sold before 500 units that gives you this. Once it has given you more, you remove that 500 and maybe the remaining one, if I remove 500 from here now, is gonna remain 235, okay? You have two options. To trade again to make more money or trade 500 that you sold and you bought back now you have excess of 235. Divide this 235. Divide this 235. Uh, take half and add to that your 5,000 you are swinging or 500 you are swinging and take half to that 500 you are holding. Then trade up again for this and then continue doing that to ensure you're able to reserve some profit. And if you're able to reserve some profit, one major coin may just come that will say, okay, oh, let's buy this coin. Then you can use that to buy again in that order. So, because sometimes people just trade and never give attention to details. The details are very, very important to give attention to. If you do not, I can bet with you, everybody will be seeing you on the system that you are trading, but you yourself will be ashamed of yourself saying you are trading because you won't be able to have any result to show, okay? And that's uh, on the trading part. Um, so if you if you have not uh, bought your coin, uh, like we showed here, there's a coin I was telling us. Okay, this coin is good. That's just about 35, 31 million total supply and then okay uh, that was a coin i was saying okay mkr if you don't have much money no problem but if you have little fraction of money buy this coin Look at it. All time high of this coin, $8,773. All time low, $21. And it actually got to about 500 or something or 600 or $700 uh, quite a few days back or uh, two weeks or so, uh, up to about five or $700. Now, why the coin? read more about its activities that's another thing so every coin you're trading go to the coin market cap read about the activities secondly check the supply it has a circulating supply of just one million <laughs> one million five thousand nine hundred and seventy one so any little money poop into this coin will push the market up so you may buy 295, dollars now, and a few whatever, you may see that 350 or 360. So such coin, uh, if you can read it up updates, then you can take some money, you know, to buy, you know, some of those coins like that. Okay. Another coin I've told everybody right from the one, of course, I've told us about the MCU long time and. Uh, was this guy, Crow, which is a family. Crow is a family of MCO. Let me explain something. Just like you have Tether and you have T-Fuel. You have Tether and you have T-Fuel. So Tether is a coin, okay? Tether is a coin. Why the T-Fuel is like um what would i call it it's like uh something like uh, a voucher okay whereby internally interactions transactions is easy to use 
the TFWARE to use to refill, to recharge, to update, to, to fill up, to top up, and all of that in TFWARE. Then the same thing, this guy, you know, like uh, design for buying of some things online, buying of uh, maybe on the football, um, Jesse, and all of those things for this coin, yeah, for this clip. And read more about it later. And then, now, if that is the case, what if I buy now? I remember when I was telling somebody, look at the potential of the coin. So all time high, just last year, uh, 2018, it has done $5, $5. And all time low, 2015. Oh my God, crazy. <laughs> get, get it, it's crazy guys. Low, 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 low down. And that's why you see that up to now, it's this seated at about 350% you no know, growth. So if that is the case, looking at this chart here, maybe even if it's not before phenomena, which is before the halving, after the halving, you should know that this type of coins can take a hit up of its previous position. And so if I have this coin, like 20,000 units, uh, this price, that's about four, four, four cent, nine penny. And it move up to the previous all time high of just five dollars. Then you should, can, you should know. Okay. So I wouldn't want to bog so much about it, all these things today because they are very important. Because I still meet people when you said buy this coin. We can always be bringing coins on the forum. But at the point, I know a lot of people will even be confused. They say, hey, um, which one will I buy? Which one will I leave now? This one come now. Sissy, let me look for money and buy. They bring another one. Now, wow. My own is pick the one you can pick. Others who didn't pick when you picked, they pick when another one can. So it's so important. You always check uh, uh, the analysis, just like uh, I think, uh, okay, I've told us this guy. What was the coin I was trading? In total. Oh, sorry. Okay, I think the network is not friendly. Okay. Okay, awesome. no problem, no problem. So uh, we can do another thing. So uh, in, in summary, in summary, please don't trade with emotion. Don't just trade with emotion. Do the needful and um, make sure um, you set the pattern. So your holding should be holding. Anyone you are swinging, once you trade, check your percentage. As you cover reasonable something for me for the time being. And if you trade for a swing, Swing simply mean anything above, anything above two, three weeks, one month, two month, three month, uh, five month maximum, they are swing. Holding from five months, six months, 
10 months, one year, two years. <laughs> Some people say two years too long. I say, okay, I have had a coin for three years before, so I don't know what's long. And of course, by the time the percentage was down, uh, you should know that the person who was even struggling daily, just like the usual thing, people who work every day on rat race, um, fortunately, they can't still you know, afford to do the necessary thing they're supposed to do. So the same thing, we have a lot of people who have been doing scalping. I call, I call it wasting of money. They're wasting their money to the exchange, and, and at the end of the day, nothing come out. They get frustrated and thinking that uh, productivity is measured by activities. So not like that. It doesn't work that way. So uh, which other coin? There was a coin I wanted us to. Uh, okay. 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 This guy. If you have any little time, you study more about rent too. Uh, was a very fantastic coin last year. Uh, from January to June, it outperformed Bitcoin by 480%. Outperformed like Bitcoin last year. So I, I, I still believe that the guy have a lot of things to play. Last year, 2019, and I moved crazy. Okay, let's see. Is okay. this a good buy now? Rent? Yeah. I bought rent since I just, I'm just holding it. And uh, so, but, but it's still going to come down uh, because it has, but it's it just been disturbing. Uh, it has been maintaining the bottom of that range of 500 to 662, 660, all of that. If you want to buy, it's a good buy, you can buy. And then, so last year it had performed Bitcoin by 480 percent and uh, and this year it has struggled though but has never done anything uh you can see just a thousand and something that was uh, yeah it has actually tried but that last year was we pick it from down 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 look at the bottom uh 309 satoshi and move up to 1396 Satoshi, so it had performed, it was constantly going, but look at it, but it never crashed, because the lowest it did was 300 and something Satoshi, okay? So REN is actually uh, a good coin that you can buy and um, hold it, swing it, and as well, if you want to scalp, it's your choice, you know? And then, so I don't like, um, but so if you look at it now, you can know that it's consolidating and at the same time, it's a good buy. But I, 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 it, can, it, can, uh, it has been maintaining after it spiked to 1,000 from a slow, uh, it actually started a trend from 446. Then, da, 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 da. Yeah, but I know a lot of people bought from here 600 and something. And then so it retests back again and consolidating. The next action of the coin. Uh, outside, one thing that can still make it have a, a double bottom, if Bitcoin did not move as it expected of like moving up to about $7,900 or thereabout. And if it does not, then REN uh, may as well still have a double bottom. But if it does, then you should meet REN. I have my price set at $1,200 at million. Even some at 1,450 Satoshi, because it can take a stand up at any point in time. If you want to buy Ren, why not? But I'm sure by tomorrow we will have a lot of coins that can be on update that uh, may be a good buy for us. Uh, especially, you know, sometimes you give, I know a lot of people, you give, you give you more joy when you buy, you have some holding coins, but then 
you buy a coin and then after one or two, three, four, five days, it now happened the way MTEL did, you know, and other coins where you can do 50%, 70% in two, three days, then you'll find. Okay, so uh, if you are trading, uh, if you're trading in a, in a community and you don't have XRP, I'm sorry for you. Okay. X, XRP uh, is going to do some wicked thing, but uh, of course, let's see a lot of pressure on it. But XRP is on the coin not to have. It's a coin to always try to have. Remember, your trading is in two patterns, holding and swing. Scalping, optional. So if you're holding, you are holding primary coins and not secondary coins. And must I hold all the coins? No. If it's two or three, I hold. When I make more money, I buy more. And if I want to buy, I look at the one that has potential but is down now, and then I buy. Okay, so XRP uh, is a coin not to play with. Seriously. We've mentioned them before, so anyone who is new will see go back move on our forum to on that list additional uh, volumes of coins that we shouldn't play with. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I think enough. And please, uh, like I said on the group, everybody, I beg you, anytime you come to your Binance, don't just like, I want to go in down to buy and sell, always read news. Always read updates, information. Uh, so clicking on it to get updates so that you don't make mistake. You know, like an update about FTX, FTX you know, uh, to be delisted now, for instance. A lot of people don't read. A lot of people don't read the news. Read updates to know what's happening in the market. And so that, uh, uh, where is it here? Ah, so they repeated it, uh, okay, 14 hours ago. Binance will delist all FTX leverage token. By given time, that the given time, uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow, 31st. But will I wait till tomorrow? No. You can cut it off and push the money and then to another thing. You know. So always read updates. If not, sometime you now want to come to a trade. You are checking the coin you bought. You knew you bought it. You are looking for your profile. Until when you check your balance, and then you see that the coin is disabled already. <laughs> okay, so uh, some finally, finally, many person who have not understood this, Mister, Mister, Mister Yobis. Uh, this guy, EDC, many people have not understood it. You can see it has a pattern. Actually, all this place exists now, it has a pattern. A pattern of maintaining it down, you know, I don't even know what I would define it to be, certainly on the exchange where it is, on uh, orbit. And so, you can just imagine, uh, so people bought back here at 6,650 uh, Satoshi, then waiting. So if I was waiting here, I would have to wait like 1,000 or 1,200, uh, uh, 2,000, uh, 1,000 uh, Satoshi. Though, like myself, okay, look at, okay, I think I have little market here. At the market, I said it 2000, 2005, 1009. I don't want to, I don't want to know because I don't have time to frequently check in this place. When you never expected is when you see a 3000 Satoshi. You say, Oh my God, if I had not sold. And meanwhile, if you said market and go, this coin is not a volatile coin, it has a consolidating movement. And so, with that, you may regret you know, placing the order for sale. And come back all are sold and the market never come down, continue going on. And the rule of trade 
is you must not buy back above the previous price you sold so that you can maintain a fantastic profit. So somebody now asked me, should I buy this now? No. Let it complete this cycle. It's moving. Probably we get to a thousand. Oh. Oh. All right. So I think uh, I think I need to pause here so that you have a question. Uh, you have a question you can ask. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you 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 said something about uh, security. Security yesterday. Yeah. Uh, you said when it has to do with the trust wallet, uh, you have to tell us how to not just the the brain key, and there are other things we need to copy out or keep. Okay. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have the time today, and maybe what I'll do is that I'll do a short uh, uh, this thing on the app and uh, send it over, you know, for us to, uh, for us to, because over time our community will have to go to a level where everybody must have their hard wallet. And um, yeah, must have your hard wallet because so that to help us better security. So I'm going to send a procedure of some setting and popping out some information from your trust wallet. Not only trust wallet, but other wallets you too. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You said you will do an update on coins while come by. Yeah, I said, I said, I said, I've talked, I've, talk, I've said it today. I said there are, I said, even like you say, you want to buy red. I say, you may not buy red. If you want to buy, you can buy, but by tomorrow, we should know one or two coins. Because most of those coins, uh, like ordinarily, this guy is still going to spike back because they are not done with some of those things. Well, I don't know where they will distribute the, the, this guy. Distribute this guy. This guy is not done, but it's not a coin to jump into now. Um, anyway, I, I, I will just check some of those. Um, for most of them completed like a cycle today, yesterday, and all of that. So. Some has not finished their uh, kind of final drop. Uh, what is this coin called? Coming. It's a fantastic bucket, you know. <laughs> Okay, uh, even the, okay, let me check, even the, um, let me check Tron, huh. All right, okay, let's check, let me check. Two hours interval. Ah, this guy is gonna fall. Most of those coins are supposed to buy, they are not going to do BB percentages. They're like scalping coins, like Tron Trust to do back back up down to maybe 190 Satoshi, but it's not big. Uh, but I'll I'll drop maybe one or two three coins tomorrow. 
that we can buy. I want us to, because not only about entering the market, it's about entering the market at a good point. A good entry point in the market makes a lot of sense. Not just like entering the market. But most of them now have not finished dropping. Oh, this guy. Oh, shit. This guy. Finish. Okay, so, so to, tomorrow I'll give you all, uh, those coins that, but please, the sentiment in all our coins are very, very important. Because sometimes um, people will just, ah, I think I need to buy this. Ah, I think I need to buy this. Ah, I think I need to buy this. It's not good. It's, it killed you know, our chances of making better money. You can trade just once in, or twice in a month and you are fine. You can do. 50%, 60%, 100% even. And so, but too many trades, too many mistakes. Hello, sir. Okay, uh, Mr. Ab uh, Mr. Abdul. Okay, Mr. Abdul will say, ah, thank you for, okay, Captain, I'm coming just a moment. Uh, thank yeah, you for much. giving my attention to Coinsbit. Uh, I've, I've, I've talked about Coinsbit severally, okay? I've talked about Coinsbit several, severally, Coinsbit, uh, and some of those coins there. But I, I just like the way I used to tell people I love using Yobit for EDC those days. Many people don't know why. I, I'm so much particular about what can give me my money in a very good volume. And that's why some exchange I go there and say, hey, I don't like that exchange. They too frustrated, they waste person time. They say if the KYC is not so that's not my own business. My business is, are they good? They have so many, like these guys have so many pattern and strategy to cage people. But uh, like for CMB coin as a token, I'm holding it. In fact, I kept it on their on their invest box or something called taking pool. But what I did, I bought I bought some at about. 11 satoshi and i set it i put some on the on the on the uh, staking pool and then set some 20 uh, 20 satoshi 40 50 and i just woke up was it yesterday when this wicked spike happened now let me tell you is those their per permutation and combination they are doing on that platform remember they came up and said you can do what 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 okay we're happy to inform you that Coinsbit team will conduct a, a plan burning of the CMB. Now, if anybody wants to buy a CMB now, you have to wait. Don't even buy. And allow the bond to happen. The moment the bond happens, there will be a pump. Then you can take advantage of it. But for some of us who have this for a very long time, we don't have option than to leave it. Better, I keep, it, I keep my own on the staking pool. And leave it there. So, if you want to have it, you uh, if you want to buy uh, the coin, just wait after this. They uh, come born. I don't know. So they say burning will be carried out within 24 hours. Huh? So just wait. Don't buy. If not, uh, I will have said buy. But that, like a few days back was at 14 satoshi, 10 satoshi, 11 satoshi, which I bought some, and I have sold some of them and kept some on the... So every coin you are buying on this platform, especially those they are new coins they introduce on the IEO, you don't need to kill yourself about it. Like the IEO, we're waiting for, what do they call it? Uh, just a moment. Let me come. Okay, what do they call it? OTC, mm -hmm. no problem. OTC, no problem. OTC, how much, uh, how many do you say you can buy? Uh, I think if, how much volume one can buy? At what rate? You didn't put it. Uh, okay, like like now, please let it, let it be a one and two. 
which I did in virtually all the IEO. I did this one in, like this IEO just got finished. I spent only two weeks on it, all right? I spent only two weeks on this guy and I did 150% and I never go there. I've studied the pattern of those IEO. Some of them don't have any use case anywhere. So it's also a sense to make use of people to pump in their money. So the best is once they are selling, you buy whatever rate, then you don't calculate. They have this, they have this way of every IEO they do, they have this way of making sure that it's pumped at least 100% or more. It may not be immediately. So some you may test your patient. Some, the one that move immediately will go and do crazy percentage that you never imagine. Like I think the coin that did us, uh, okay, was this block, was it this BBK? Block, black, something like that. I think was BBK this. dealt with us. <laughs> dealt with you. <laughs> dealt with you. I, did, I did 100% on BBK and I move out. And the truth, but I didn't even buy so much because I said there's no point buying too much. So, and remember the pattern we say, your 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 portfolios must be must be uh, uh, structured. Sixty, you can you may decide not to use it, but I always put sixty, um, twenty, um, fifteen, and five. Sixty personal trading, twenty. Uh, master node leasing and all of that. Then 15 POS taking, all of those taking, a lot of them. Then 5%, this type of a thing. And so, in this type of a thing, I perpetually leave my money I make on some of them. So, logically, the money is increasing in their back office for me. So, you can just imagine maybe I just take careless $100 and participated on the previous one. This global crypto marketplace, whatever they call it. And I did 150%, I think. Uh, so let's check here. Okay, okay, so 21, 21, 22. The other ones was, uh, oh, see, CM, CM, CMT, 21, 21, 21, 25 Satoshi, CMT, 50 Satoshi, 50 Satoshi, 50 Satoshi. So, uh, CBBK. So that's what I do, sentiment. So with that, you've been able to, if you even look at the one I saw that 50 Satoshi now, that was a crazy percentage. I just wrap up and take my average and say I did 150%. I may even do more than that. That means I bought it at 10 Satoshi and I sold at 50 Satoshi, 21 Satoshi, 22, 25, 30 Satoshi in that way. So the one I even sold at 50 Satoshi, that is, how many percent? Four hundred percent. Excuse me. That's four hundred percent because ten to twenty is hundred percent. Thirty, two hundred percent. Forty, three hundred percent. Fifty, four hundred percent. So that one was four hundred percent. Now this is the style I use. I sell them in badges that way. Immediately I finish selling them in badges. I don't buy back no matter what the song they were singing, I don't look back. My only guy, I've collected what I want to collect. You know, the other, that day I told my, one of my friends, when he said, ah, it's like the coin went, came down, it's going back up. I said, I'm waiting for another IO. I, another IO has surface again now. So you can see that I'm doing politician work here. Now, if we check the coin now, I don't know what it may be. Either it's big or small, it's none of my business. My business that made the profit I want to get there. And the way you are seeing this coin, watch in the next one week or two, you may see it at one Satoshi. 
you may see it at one satoshi. Now it's 12. So somebody who refused to have sold at 21, 25, 30, 35, 40 now, he will be looking at ah, how he can just go back to 20. Ah, if you can just go back to 20, for, for just sell 100%. You put yourself under the stress. As it hurts, collect your own. Goodbye. Okay, so that's the style you use until this exchange. This exchange is how to make any smart person more money. Then over time, when they get stabilized, some of those coins, they will still delist them on their exchange. I can tell you that. They will still delist some of those coins because some of those coins, I don't know, maybe they bribe them to pump it and then forget anybody who pumping money there. You're on your own. So that's what I would say. So for, for, for their token, it's a good it's a good coin to to hold. Like how I'm holding, right? I'm holding, you know, some of their token. Uh, where is this? Uh, I'm holding. I think I see a small fraction of this. You see, I have hundred and fifty thousand of the token here. Uh, so I don't know how many. It will, I believe mean, they have stopped. Okay, they've not stopped. So 150,000 here. So it has done 161,700. Then I think uh, I have another 150,000 for somebody too in my other account. Somebody say, eh, you have other account? Yeah, why not? So that's what I do. So why I have this more relaxed mind this is their internal token. They can take it to anywhere. They can do any abracadabra. I may not be surprised when the phenomena start happening. This their token becomes something heavy. So even though this volume, I bought it more very expensive when that first pump happened, then let it be accruing that volume. Whatever magic they are saying now, uh, put this and get this percentage. I'm not going to close that first one because if you close the other one now, you can't enter. You have to buy more. They have you know, stride of keeping people. So me, I'm on this percentage. So this percentage, you may enter your, and you close that one, they will say, make it up to the, there's no point. So whatever fraction this one is giving daily, it makes sense. So be careful. Yeah, uh, Captain. Uh, yes, Captain. Sir. Yeah, I'm here, sir. Yeah. Okay, a quick one. We're uh, asking a question. Yeah, yeah, a quick one. So, uh, like uh, a lot of us are new, okay, to this space and uh, all that. So, firstly, for for me, uh, uh, since this uh, the beginning of this year to date, yeah. I've not done anything uh, trading. The only thing I I, I, I do is I I, I, I bought few 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 coins that uh, we were told to, to pick up and it's good for a buy like the XRP and a whole lot of things. So okay. what I did was just place them for sale. I mean just put uh, some figures and so for me I think uh, like this sit at home I really wanted to make good use of it right like maybe is there any way maybe like I can be doing uh, daily trading that may be possible. You can come up maybe with uh, maybe fifty dollars or twenty dollar, but on daily basis, is there any coin like that that is possible that you can be do on daily? Maybe you just put in three hours and do your personal trading there, then you move out. Uh, maybe on daily basis. Of course, of course, of course. That is this, that's the third part of your trade. It, it's very possible that is capping for me. Yeah, yeah, maybe this because I, I'm using my philosophical people. That is the that's the top part of your trade in you know, scalping. Now, in that way, in that way, you, you don't have a giving coin for that. You don't have a giving coin for that because every coin will be a different cycle. It's just that most time well that, that means you have to be very regular on our platforms where we, you, you, but you must be disciplined in doing it. You keep a particular amount that you are using for that. Yeah. And so that when the money, when the money is made, that's what we say here. Even on the coins bit, 
that is a coin to, coin to be a scalping. Some of these has uh, them in the following top coins on coins beat exchange and every other new coins occasionally. Now, on coins, let me tell you, on coins beat, even the this CND itself does daily volatility. I've checked it very regular. This coins bit, the coins bit itself, the CMB coin, does daily for volatility. Sometimes it will be at 11 Satoshi, and at 11 Satoshi, before the day close, you will see it at, see the candlestick now. See. Sometime, okay, when it was doing this, 1921, was doing that, then at the point when it was somewhere at 16, 14, 18, 20, 17. So it was daily volatility. So all you take is take a range of it, but not necessarily only such coin anyway. So it's to take a range of it and trade it on a regular basis. One, even the BTC itself, you know, I told somebody, I said, uh, if you want to scalp, you can still equally scalp BTC with USDT alone. Just scalp BTC with USDT alone. How? BTC, uh, come in here. Okay, coming here. Why we were why we were in the Zoom yesterday? BTC came down to as low as how much? About five thousand eight hundred and something. Five thousand eight hundred and ninety nine. Let's call it five thousand nine hundred. When I say we're waiting for it, if you refuse to break eight thousand, forget it. We cannot see the drop working. The drop will be delayed. Instead, if you refuse to break that it will go up the more. That means, as I said yesterday, you buy BTC at that price, at that price, now to where it is now, now of course you knew that it went to 6.5, to where it is now, you should have done at least 9% or 10%. Once that is achieved, and you see that BTC you have sold at the gate set of Let's say eight percent. You have sold at the gate set of eight percent. Like BTC itself, you have sold to USDT, and you are expecting another pullback. It may not happen fast because the guy want to break out by all means, and it never drop again. That same money you have used made from BTC, you can turn to another market. Maybe any coin we bring to the forum, and it's like, oh, this coin, exactly when we say this coin, they say they want to do this thing, this coin, they want to do reason for this coin and all of that. Then you can take to buy such coin for another day trade rather than the Bitcoin, waiting for it to come down. You don't need to wait for it to come down. You just, that's why I said, uh, scalping is like a prostitution and like a political people, you know, no permanent friend, no permanent enemy. So as you finish selling with BTC, you turn to uh, another coin. So that is capping, and that's what they trade. You will be busy with, you will jump from A to B, B to C, D to E, anywhere the left is. That's what you do. So of course there are a lot. I can, I can perpetually be dropping uh, some of those things, but just that not every time, like me, I'm a very lazy man, you know, and so, I can, I can drop up to like five, four, six coins for trade in a day. Well, that, that would be fine, sir. So <laughs> you, you get confused at the point. Now I can just make my choice. They, they, they <laughs> <laughs> it, it, by the time you scalp, scalp uh, trading for more than how many months, you just tell yourself, guy, man, okay, I just swing my team. 
but uh, don't worry. You, 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 this is what to exercise your, your finger. I'll bring it. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes. Sir. All right. Uh, I hope we've tried. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Um. Yesterday, I requested that you visit our um, crypto um, external wallet, the, okay. the, the crypto wallet we, we downloaded a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, there's a little confusion there. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, you see, when you download and you see the reward, that reward, um, it's like they are compelling us to buy the card or maybe indirectly buying the card as a form of staking, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So uh, I clicked on, I clicked on it and um, I'm, I'm, it's now obvious that I'm being compelled to pay for that, um, for the, for the card, the okay. green precisely. And uh, my intention initially was to stake that reward as usual so there's this confusion here even somebody um somebody i also forwarded the link to is also asking me whether or not he has to buy it and uh, since i'm not clear on it i just asked him to stay action until i get back to him can you please um enlighten me on that okay yeah crypto.com is a wallet right yeah. Yes, and that's and that's the backbone for MCO and crypto and CRO. Okay. Yeah, initially we we're not permitted in Nigeria. I told you guys that time okay. where we we're doing analysis to stake even chain link on it. We we're not permitted. And it's, it's actually a very strong uh innovation. Uh uh doctor in the UK, maybe over time you have to make efforts to request for your own over time, but uh, or what, for like in our own locality, the card on the crypto.com. <laughs> in future, it's, it's going to be useful for us. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to probably get it that next <laughs> Dr. Dr. Demi. Sir. God has touched you. Where you kept all those screws, all those CRO, God don't touch you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Demi, I have stayed, I have stayed more than 500,000 CRO. Tell him to bring it out. Come, <laughs> 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 Mr. Felix. Hello. So, the man that has finished speaking now, you said Captain Abby. Uh, uh, Captain Dave, uh, the, 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 the man on Captain, the seat. Cap, Captain Dave, you are talking about seat at home. Who gave you seat at home? <laughs> seat on Who has seat at home? My brother has seat on the seat. On the seat. Which home? <laughs> you know what's in the box? Which home? Seat at home, no issues. Beg, 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 beg. Beg, go see. So, so, okay, let me just give you a summary of that thing. Now, the, the, there are sequence of things on the platform. You can do everything on that platform. You can send your coin there. You can, as in, store your coin, even BTC, everything, CRO, MCO, and other coins, and you can swap them to another. You know, maybe CRO go up, and you can swap it back to BTC or swap it back to... MCO and any of them can be swapped to each other and you can do all of those things. There are other things uh, that will need to uh, actually want to post in something. Uh, what was this? Something, something, something. Okay, I will check it thereafter. And, but that you can, do, you can do all of that. Now, when it comes to that card, that card, they actually want to like enable circulations of mass adoptions of you know crypto fiat usability of course of course i can see so now 
they, that $50 worth of MCO given to you is to be activated. How? You either request for that card. You are not paying for that card, but your money is used as a collateral to hold on that wallet as a book me down with that card. You are not paying for that card. Obviously, I can see. So, but it's a collateral. Okay. And it's good to be in that wallet. The collateral lasts for six months. Hmm. So, for instance, you've been given how many MCO? 10 or whatever. Then you, you, you now want to do a uh, book me down of the Ruby uh, card. Then that means you are sending 50, uh, 40 uh, MCO. So the moment you send that, you can use both your 40 along with that 10 as book me down, which is automatically is all the, both the 40 and the 10 that was there is your own in totality. That is on booking on the card. Your staking, you are not earning on staking, it's just that when the card come and when you start making use of the card, you have what they call cash back reward, 2% on as you make use of the card and the other benefit that it rates and into banking, transfer, and then it's unlimited anywhere. You can use it anywhere. And there are, um, I think there are some other benefits aligned with it. Mm. Then where does taking comments? I, I, was, I was telling my two brother uh, the afternoon, I said, crypto.com is for big boys. You know, the minimum of the one you can keep is the next card, you know, collateral for you to stake for 6%, and which is 500 units of MCO. MCO. Right. So and then the next to about seven, then I think the highest is about 8%. So your coin, both the one they give to you, anyone they give the 50 is there, but it's not activated until when the person adds more MCO there and then book me down. So logically, as a man of sentiment in trading, what am I gonna do? I will send 40 there or send 50 there to just make it up to 50, or I will send 50 there, let me say I send 50 there and activate book me down of card. And I use the 10 to buy CRO Either keep it there, or if I can have money add up, then I haven't done this. I will now look for another money and buy MCO separate. What is he giving to me? All this book me down card will be shipped over the distance with the limited volume of even the MCO and the usability is still going to create an artificial scarcity of that coin. Invariably, what is the interpretation to that coin? The coin must move. So why holding what, either 50 or 100 or whatever volume on that wallet, I can look for money and buy another 100 or 50 as the case may be. Before that six month, of course, the coin moon is my money. But meanwhile, I can as well continue swinging that same coin on the exchange platform. So before even that six month, the money I will have made will have even be more than the volume of 50 MCO I kept in my world. The truth of the matter is not for babies who are just starting crypto. It's for people who understand where they are going to in crypto. All right? So if the person opened it and all of that and sent um, uh, coins there and didn't uh, do collateral of the card, then it, it will just make use of the wallet for nothing and uh, so nothing. At this point, that the card has, the, the the card process has been activated, what what would you advise? As the as the card process has been activated, I don't understand. Yes, because because on um, when when you finish the process, you are asked to act uh, to claim the, the 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 reward, and then you you click on it, then um, it gives you an option of the card, and now you click on the card. Um, 
it was in fact at that point that I, I held back a little bit because I, I needed to know whether or not I would still be asked to make um, a cash. No, 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 no. You are not to make any cash payment. No, nobody is asking. What is the process? The, the, which, which of the card did you which of the card did you claim the first the one first, or... the, the, like you mentioned the first that the black first... black something green you, that, no that's... green huh green I know there are plenty of them there okay yes, you... the, green, the green is the is the first okay the, the green is the first. yes that means you didn't deposit any external uh, MCO there am I correct no you only locked down you only locked down your you only locked down there was nothing you were not charging on anything you you only locked down uh the mco uh, the mco of um uh the, the fifty dollars or oh, for 49.990 but right now it's 50 dollars yeah yeah i i i thought maybe you you have sent for me for me, uh, the least I can call on that place, the least I will say that is on that place for me is actually um, uh, Ruby. the one of 50 MCO. But that other first one, that that's is, Ruby. Some, eh? Was it Ruby? Ruby Steel, but right? Ruby, no? Ruby, Ruby, Ruby Steel. That that's first that. one, that first one is not even, is not even available. Oh, that it's first not. one. Uh, you can't do anything on it. They will tell you it's commission. It's not available. Because okay. there is no fee, nothing attached to it. You don't have anything you are taking on it. It does not have benefit. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. It does not have benefit. Have no, benefit. At, at have first, benefit. it was activated. But it does not have any benefit. The one I can't ask, number one for me, is that one of uh, something Ruby Steel, which is Platinum card, not uh, not a PVC or something. The bottom line is that the bottom line is that it's it's it for it for it for users. It's for users, and even the funniest thing is that I hope you know that it's not even yet available in our country. The only thing is that you only be notified once they are able to like make it available you'll be notified to now upload your address verification so that it can be shipped to you you are not paying for it okay yeah so just like the sentiment i have just said is as an indication to tell you that such coin this type of coin mco uh it shouldn't be a coin to joke with that does it too okay yeah I'm not I'm not working with them, but maybe when the first badges of people now now get it in a particular country, it will be free. But maybe when they now see that the workability is very fantastic, anyone who needs they will say order for it and pay. Yeah, I think they mm. they also have a staking functionality there. They yes, the yes, they have a staking very good. But 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 the MCO staking is is from five hundred MCO. Yeah yeah yeah. No, it's CRO CRO that I do. Hmm. If I catch somebody, you see him, you see him, you see him, you see him on the lady and you see him. You see him. I told you. I told you. I told you. You said it too. I told you. Can you imagine? You said it too. Oh, dear, ma, I receive it in Jesus' name. I have 100,000. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've been trying to log in into this uh, Storm Gate uh, exchange. So I don't know whether I didn't get the navigation right. Uh, so I don't know. It was not logging me. Let me see. It yes, was not yes. logging me. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe that it's been a while I've not. Uh, maybe it should, it should be a network or something. It's been a while. Um, 
this is a thing. Uh, this is a thing why I've been I've been the why not using it. Uh, I look at it. Um, number one, uh, they were the liquidation. What I first thought about that their platform, I thought they were not going to be any liquidation of any form. They only have to like extend your volume for you. But over time, I discovered that the margins still follow the same like bitmes and all that. So. At the point I became like uh, somehow not, you know, comfortable. And uh, I think somebody drew my attention to one or two future. And then, so I have to start some, making some review, but I've not been able to even conclude my review, but it's been a while. Maybe you have to, to leave your network because I know I still receive updates regularly from them. So I can't really say what is the issue. Uh, okay, maybe I will check. I will check up updates on them, and then maybe tomorrow we'll reverse. All right. Yeah. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, and let us not play around. And uh, there's so much thing to pick from this industry. I can bet with you a lot of things to pick up, you know, in this industry. And um, sentiment is what makes a lot of sense, you know your business and buy, invest, trade, make the money, then pack it, recycle it again, make the money. And so any other thing, we'll just be talking of, um, like I said, we, we are not going so much to kind of speaking big English in this thing. After speaking big English, how much do you make? And so we need to make the money very well than the English, okay? So we are good. So I think uh, it's high time we, we take some rest now. Okay, any other person who is in today? Uh, um, okay, uh, Mr. Abdul, you good? I'm new. Huh? Huh? I've been new person now. Uh-uh, wait <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how, many, how many does you won't give me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got good job. Uh, <laughs> good what? job. Uh, uh, why do you talk like this now? I'm so ah. pleased with you. Talk like this. I don't know anything. Well done. Good day. 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 Ah, hey. uh, why are they talk like this now? Me, baby, hey. me like this. You know, some people will buy those as they talk. Sis, ah, uh, I just they look. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, this is where. Hmm. Tell me, tell what me, touch my hair. Say, you know, do I be trading? Ah, oh, <laughs> those people, they not get yourself. I don't know why they are delisting. I don't know, just when we started enjoying it. <laughs> now me the team pay pass over. I don't calculate the team. Kai. Hey, I mean, uh. Maybe it's government authorities that will have seen that. It's like these people will be making next year. I'm sure there's politics in that thing. Yes, yes, man. Uh, there's politics. Yeah, they must have gang up against Binance. I'm, I'm, I'm very sure about that. Yes. Because. Yes. <laughs> because <laughs> Hey, if men understand that in there, hmm. 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 na na hammer. <laughs> <laughs> now you enjoy your past now. Say. See, baby, they talk. They talk hammer now. Is it hammer? Hey, hey. Not hey. <laughs> doctor. Not day, that is, that is. <laughs> yes, doctor. Yes, sir. Doctor, I see the lane. <laughs> <laughs> But but we we must always find a way out. Simple, I just it. Yes, so it's like this finish is doing well on EDC than you beat. I don't understand your beat no. No, leave your beat to. Did you finish? Did you finish? They are they are crazy people too, but mm. they, are crazy. they are crazy. Never read your beat. Let me tell you why. Your your beat. Some of those bad guys. I'm sure they've not come. And you do know that. See, there's something is this. When you have access to certain information, it looks so cheap. Many mm -hmm. of them who trade on Yobits don't know anything that there's a hidden project behind EDC. 
Okay. They don't know. They are just a mere traders. So they were only trading it and just trading and just trading, nothing concerned them. Their own is their man, this coin. So they don't know. They just like some, okay, let me ask you now. Many of us, there are coins we trade. If not that later, we're doing some research to know that they are taking it somewhere. Did you know? No, sir. We wouldn't know. And so we're just trading it. And then when there are some things that will happen in their community of like investors on that coin, we wouldn't know. And then they make some things, something happen and all. So they, most of them, while we got information to move our EDC coin back to the EDC blockchain, they don't know, they don't hear. Even when Yobit was announcing, they don't see it. So many of them were just doing what they like. And so they, and you, you, I, you still saw that even when every other exchange have returned and no, EDC was still pumping it, uh, Yobit was still pumping EDC. But one good thing I saw the Yobi did for them, which was okay, was that when the return of the ERC20 token, the EDC, come, all those their volume, of course, it, you will know that it was consumed down to the EDC ERC20 token. So automatically was converted. But at the high rate of, at the high rate of entrance of 1,500 Satoshi, so eventually when they come back, they will see the volume of EDC, they are very small and the oh. price is very small. So it's like nonsense, you know? So that grievances, of course, will still be holding them. But some of them yeah. that are inside that, that get the right information. And so it's just a matter of time. Most, if I me, as far as EDC is concerned, you see you bit, that is That's my right. number one customer. <laughs> so the only thing I did was that any new place, the mark, the EDC enter, bah, I push in money there. How are you? Fine. Then we, we, we debate, I collect. I can still wait. And good, that's what I did on DigiFinance. That's what I did on the Bitrive and all of that. So don't worry, EDC will make you smart. Um, yeah. Yobit, Yobit, Yobit. Yeah. Will, uh, no, I'm not praying for EDC or, because you already know what, what you are doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Amen. So I didn't talk about oh, ENG. The spike on ENG. Oh, is it just a um, formality? What? ENG. That spike, is it formality or is there more to it? ENG. Are you a learner? I'm not going ENG. to talk about it. Are you a learner? <laughs> Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I understand, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. No, sir. Thanks, sir. I would say people were there for life. Let me hear this our discussion. <laughs> <laughs> sir, is that packing? I know his voice. Now you must be. Mommy, you want that shit? I know, that you. <laughs> Is there one that's with? No, mine now. I, 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 I just pretend like I said I'm not here. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So I think we, we've, we've tried tonight and so really have a nice. Thank you so much, sir. Good night.